clearly justifies to my assertion. Our party and indeed the people of Ebe State have spoken with one voice. And I have no doubt that the unity of purpose and pursuit of the common goal we have seen exhibited today will be replicated in all intra and inter party contests until victory is achieved at all levels in 2015, inshallah. Your Excellency, the Deputy Governor, the single members of our great party, the man you have endorsed today for another term as your governor was born almost six decades ago. I started my career as a teacher, but later became a professional accountant. When I was growing up and in the course of my training later in life, I imbibed principles and values which include peer of God, serving the common good with humility, governance with integrity, as well as transparency and accountability in managing resources, among others. When we started the journey in 2007 with the late governor of the state, Senator Mama Ali, may his soul rest in peace. We had a clear vision of what we wanted to achieve. We wanted to leave the state better than we found it. However, the Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his infinite mercy and wisdom took away Senator Mama Ali and the mantle of leadership fell squarely on my shoulders. In the execution of my duties, I have always made it mandatory to carry myself in the spirit of my upbringing, training and the overall interest of the state. You will recall that during our electionary campaigns and subsequent inauguration to manage the appearance of the state, we pledged to improve the living conditions of the people of our dear state through the provision of basic necessities of life. We also promised to, to be guided by the principles of transparency and accountability in the conduct of government businesses. I am delighted to report that we have been able to redeem over 90% of the promises we made to the electorates in 2011 electionary campaigns. In this regard, therefore, a number of developmental projects have been executed across the state aimed at improving the standard of living of our people. We have always believed that our modest contributions will speak for us. I also want to believe that one of the reasons why you have endorsed me is because you have records to justify your action. I grant your indulgence to mention some of these areas. This administration will have been according priority attention to road construction as a major gear towards economic integration and development. These roads are intended to lead the communities the movement of people and commodities. Consequently, we are constructing a total of 911 kilometers of intra and inter-town road networks with full asset overlay and 143.6 kilometers of drainages. As you are aware, Portuguese, Jaffus, Kodeshua, Kadari, Bayamari Gaidam, Bayamari Inusari, Nadimaji Karoswa, Bula Raba Tetaba, Girgir Karege, Medua Gadaka, and Geshua Isupari roads have been completed. Work is ongoing on Trans-Sahel roads, Nguru Machina, Damaturu Buniyari, Magza and Gadaka Godoweli roads. Some of these roads are the responsibility of the federal government. In view of the dangers posed by those roads due to their level of dilapidation, we had to take over and construct them to reduce the suffering of our people who are the main users of those roads. Let me also add that the township roads in the major towns in the state have been provided with 2,846 points of solar power seed light covering a distance of 71.2 kilometers at the total cost of about 2.94 billion naira. In the education sector, we have taken measures to revive and enhance the quality of education. We have established the Nigeria Turkish International College at Mamudo at the cost of over 3 billion naira. I am glad to know that since the inception of the partnership 
with the Nigerian Turkish International Colleges, about 90% of the products of these colleges who are Yobe indigenous have passed at least five subjects at credit level, including mathematics and English. We have also ensured that all final year students in our senior secondary schools sit for the examinations through payment of registration fees to RAE, NECO, and NEPTEP, and other relevant examination bodies. We have surpassed them over 1.2 billion naira. We have also improved the quality of students' feeding and built world pens around the schools to, to provide security for the staff and students. In an effort to keep pace with the provision of basic infrastructure for basic education, we have rehabilitated most of the classrooms destroyed by insurgents and, and constructed 2,205 classrooms, 221 staff quarters, as well as procured 46,360 units of furniture at the total cost of over 6 billion naira. Furthermore, we have also constructed one model boarding primary school in all in each of the 17 local government areas. In an effort to promote access to university education and ensure supply of qualified high-level manpower, this administration has established the state university and provided infrastructural facilities which include 10.7 kilometers of road network, four additional boreholes, three overhead tanks, generating sets and retaplication. With the new faculty of law has been constructed, where well, 13 departments have been constructed at the faculty of arts and social sciences at the cost of over 237 million naira and 910 million naira respectively. A deputy library complex has been constructed and 36 extracted professors were recruited to boost the staff strength. I am glad to announce that our efforts and commitment have paid off and the National Universities Commission has granted full accreditation status for 27 programs and interim accreditation for two programs run by the university. In the housing subsector, we have constructed a total of 1,256 housing units to provide decent accommodation for civil servants and other citizens of the state. The houses have been allocated on the basis of owner-occupier policy with a discount of 65% of the total cost. In the area of health care delivery, this administration has continued with its policy of pre-treatment for children under the age of five, pregnant women, and victims of accident. We have built an extra modern 200-based hospital in Damatu and provided it with furniture, staff quarters, and medical equipment. Furthermore, the Sanya Bacha Special Hospital and our general hospital in Jakusko, Buniyadi Damagum, have been rehabilitated and provided with modern medical equipment and essential drugs. In order to ensure food security and self sufficiency in food production, we have procured over 35,000 metric tons of assorted fertilizer at the cost of nearly 3 billion naira and 740 units of tractors and distributed them to farmers at highly subsidized rates. As a manifestation of the commitment of present administration to reduce unemployment and elevate poverty, over 20,000 youths have been trained in various skills and trades and empowered. Similarly, over 8,000 unemployed diploma holders have been engaged and placed on a monthly payment of 15,000 naira each. Loans have also been provided to youth, women, and other vulnerable groups. In the area of water supply for both animal and human consumption, we have drilled over 812 boreholes rehabilitated 86 boreholes, drilled 627 hand pumps, and constructed 703 concrete line swimming wells across the state. Furthermore, Vermont Regional Water Supply Scheme has reached 50% completion stage when water ratification undertaken across the state covers a distance of 40 kilometers. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, it is regretted that at the end of the year 2011, 
great security challenges, namely Boko Haram insurgency, 